Today, I'm going for a first run in the New Balance 880 version 11. Fifteen point four three miles, eight minutes, fifteen seconds per mile, one hundred and fifty four beats per minute today. Taking the New Balance eight eighty version eleven for a first run, a long, moderate effort for today. But before I give you my thoughts on how this run went, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that was sent to me for the purpose of review by Roadrunner Sports, so I didn't have to pay for it. However, they're not paying me to make this video or to use the shoe, and neither they nor New Balance is going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about the New Balance 880 version 11. Now, this is a shoe that's not gonna be coming out until March of 2021. And so I normally wait until shoes release before I review them, but this one I did get early. But that also means that I don't always get all like the stats and other information that I normally like to report. So I'm not exactly sure what the stack heights are on this shoe. I think it's somewhere in the 30 millimeter range in the heel back here. And that feels like a 10 millimeter drop. I think it's a 10 millimeter drop. The last year's 80 version 10 was a 10 millimeter drop. So I'm thinking it's gonna be about the same, giving me a little bit more than about 20 millimeters of stack height in the forefoot. And the midsole material here is Fresh Foam X, which is a material I've really been enjoying, especially for my longer runs. Now, even though this is Fresh Foam X, which makes me think of the 1080, it doesn't have the rocker that the 1080 does, and it's not bouncy like I feel when I'm running in the 1080 version 10. There's nothing fancy about this shoe, but it really works for me and I'm really enjoying the ride that I'm getting from this shoe. It's no nonsense, it's just right. It's everything that I'm looking for in a daily trainer, which is what this shoe is. Now, New Balance has like a numbering system that every year I keep thinking that this is the year they're gonna get rid of the numbering system, but it seems to still be persisting. 60 means it's uh, stability, 70 means it's light stability, 80 is the neutral, 90 means speed, and I think zero, zero means racing. So that's what like the second two digits mean, or the last two digits mean. The first digit or the first two digits, whether it's eight or 10, uh, I think mean a little bit less these days. It used to mean other things, I think more previous years, but this is a listed as a daily trainer and it certainly feels like a daily trainer. And to me, this is gonna be the workhorse. You could build an entire shoe rotation around this shoe. I'm absolutely loving what this shoe is delivering. It's not super fancy in the upper or in the midsole, but you know this shoe is gonna show up every day and it's gonna let you work. I'm really excited about how like not exciting this shoe is in a way, just because it's so unassuming. Part of that is because like the upper isn't like super flashy. You've got a stretchy mesh over the toe box, which is very breathable, very comfortable on the toes. The rest of the material, the further you go back, the kind of the thicker and the more kind of like stiff the materials get. It almost makes me feel like this shoe might benefit from a little bit of breaking in terms of the materials that are here in like the, the midfoot cage uh, but right now it's really locking me in well i felt very snug in here not in an overly tight way i can set it and forget what's going on in kind of the lacing system really good there's a little bit of stability with this kind of like heel counter that's going on back here there's a little bit of structure back in the heel a little bit of that flare but not too much structure up here a light amount of padding uh, but yet still a very comfortable shoe a good example of a shoe that's comfortable in it feels comfortable to put on, but is not puffy. There's a little bit of padding in the tongue, but overall it's not a puffy shoe, yet still remains for me to be very comfortable. I'm liking everything that's going on 
in this upper. And the outsole is where I really feel like I'm getting a lot of that sense of kind of like everyday durability. And certainly there's a lot of outsole rubber on this shoe, very thick. And I think that it does two things. One, it's gonna make this uh, an absolute workhorse where you're gonna be able to put in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles on it just because that outsole rubber is so thick. The Fresh Foam X, I anticipate it's gonna last a very long time based on my prior experiences with Fresh Foam X. But the combination of the two, the thick rubber outsole and this Fresh Foam X and the amount that they have it here are what's creating that like a little bit lack of a bounce. That rubber outsole is kind of deadening the bounciness of this shoe. So if you didn't love how bouncy the 1080 version 10 was, then I think that this is a shoe that you should certainly look at from New Balance because it still is absorbing the impact of all the road miles that I'm putting in, but it's not doing it in like a bouncy way or a squishy way. So it's just kind of right in the middle, just right in terms of what I am looking for from an everyday daily trainer. There's flex group here in the outsole and I think those are definitely necessary because I feel like with this much rubber, it is a little bit stiff. I feel like this particular section of like the midfoot, forefoot area of this shoe is, a, is very stiff and has actually given me a little bit of stability in terms of like this kind of like torsional rotation as I'm hitting the ground. So I'm definitely feeling that. It's not biting me, it's not making me slap the ground in any way, but it is kind of making itself known. That might kind of mellow out a little bit over the miles as the, like this, these flex grooves start to break in. But for today, it was kind of like, a, almost like a nice kind of like not a guide rail, but like a nice kind of little hint of stability in the forefoot that I thought was nice because normally my foot kind of like lands a little bit on the side and kind of rolls in a little bit. This was kind of encouraging me to land a little bit more squarely on the foot, which normally I don't like that feel. I usually feel like the shoe is fighting me when I get that sensation from a shoe, but here it, was, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't overly assertive and I was kind of appreciating it on the run for today. Plus just this design on the outsole. I also feel pretty confident in the grip on this shoe. Today, it's still snowy out here where I'm not really running through powder. I'm not running through snow drifts. And for the most part on most of the roads that I was running on today, I could find something that wasn't snow covered. But when I couldn't, I felt very assured running through the snow on this. So I felt like I was having a really great amount of traction. In terms of paces today, the workout was a little bit of a warm up, 13.1 miles, at a moderate effort for me, uh, and then a little bit of a cool down after that. I felt like this shoe was just absolutely perfect for that kind of work. It enjoys my warm up and cool down paces. It enjoyed being worked at a moderate pace as well. Even a couple of paces on some of the downhills where I'm going a little bit faster or on some of the uphills where there was one very large uphill towards the end, which is always, on this particular route, it's always kind of demoralizing. So today I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna charge up this hill. Uh, and it did great job doing that. So it can definitely pick up the pace a little bit. It perks up. I probably wouldn't pick it for like my speed day just because there is so much rubber on this outsole and some of that stability, which was nice on a longer run when I was getting a little bit fatigued. I probably wouldn't like that so much when I'm trying to move quickly. So if it was a fast workout, Maybe not the ideal choice, but for a long run today where I just want to get out there and click off some miles at an easy or moderate pace, this was definitely a pleasure to run in today. When I'm thinking about like a long run shoe, if I'm not reaching for a max cushion shoe, this is the kind of feel that I'm going to be reaching for and that I'm going to be looking for. It's something that's also going to get out of my way and just let me run and feel like I'm running the miles, that it's not running them for me or that I'm not feeling like a bounce or a spring or a squish or any other kind of adjective there. It just kind of really gets out of my way and lets me put in the miles. And there's not a lot of shoes that are leaving me with that. So in the sense, it's almost a little bit of like a retro or a throwback shoe. Just feels like a great running shoe to run in. I don't know, maybe that's the best thing that I can say about it. It's refreshingly unassuming. A shoe that I think a lot of people are, are gonna sleep on. I think it's gonna be a highly underrated shoe for the year in 2021. But I feel like for me, in terms of running shoe reviews, starting off 2021 with a real hit here, I am a big fan of what the 880 version 11 is bringing. And I feel like this shoe is gonna be, take no time for me to get to 100 miles in it because it's gonna be a no brainer for me to pick up for a long run. So those are my thoughts so far on the 880 version 11 just after this first run. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream that I do just about every day. You can ask me anything that you'd like there, whether it's about this shoe or anything else. Hopefully I'll see you guys there. 
That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs in 2021, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?